Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna take a little tour of Sand Hollow. We're gonna do a little sand duna. We're gonna do a little trail ride. Nothing too serious. We're gonna do a little rock crawling. Just go check out a couple things. Um, I feel like a lot of people come to Sand Hollow or they want to go to Sand Hollow, but they don't really know where to go in Sand Hollow. So we're gonna show you in this video uh, one point of interest that's awesome for taking the kids with. Um, uh, they love it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Also tried something new in this video. Uh, I got some new headsets. I'm trying to do some audio recording through those. So let me know how you like it. I'm a little on the fence. All right, guys, this is Dave with Derange Off Road here. I kind of wanted to do a little video for those of you that have never been out to Sand Hollow State Park. Sorry if my audio cuts in and out. Uh, I'm testing new headsets and recording uh, device. But if you come out to Sand Hollow, you have two options of where you want to park. You can A, to go into the park. I think it's like 15 bucks a day. Or you can take this road I'm going to take right here on the right-hand side. And it's called... Uh, I don't know, everybody says go park at the water tanks. And that's where this road takes you. So let's go cruise up to the water tanks and we'll show you where to go from there to get out to the sand dunes. Water tanks are pretty much buried, but this is the big staging area here. On the weekends, this place gets tight full with everybody's rigs and all that kind of stuff. So, what you do is you just head out on this road here, like we were. Called the Water Tank Road. And it's getting really, uh... The road's getting pretty hammered lately because it's getting more popular to park right there. A year or two ago, people never parked there. I guess I better take it easy. We got the dog with us and the wife's holding the dog. So I'll try not to bash anybody's head on the door or anything like that. She's not small either. And she weighs a good, what, 40 pounds? Yeah to be a little fat. Probably need to put her on a diet. She's not fat. She's just poofy. She's uh, not fat. Just uh, big boned. <laughs> That's what my mom told me all the time. Whatever. You're not fat, Dave. You're just big boned. <laughs> she never said that. <laughs> Uh, Your mom wouldn't say a mean word. If you only knew. Oh, my mom's great. Never say anything bad about me. And being that it's Thursday, we probably won't see a whole lot of people out here. But you did remember your flag today, so we shouldn't get pulled over. <laughs> yeah, I've been out this way several times in the last couple of weeks to go cruise out into the dunes. And I always get almost to the verge of being at the dunes, and I realize, ah, I forgot my flag again. So I've never actually been out to the sand dunes. I've had a couple videos of me in the sand, but that is all before the dunes. So if you have an awesome car with awesome suspension, you can really fly through these. There's a lot of cool worms you can take. You don't have a dog in your lap, it's probably a lot more fun. Okay, so we've been heading south. We're heading south. Uh, does this feel like south to you? Yeah. I 
I'm gonna ask my navigator because I don't know which way south is. Because away from Pine Valley Mountain. Yeah, I know. Anyways, we were heading south for a couple miles. We went out the bottom of the top of the world, kind of the entrance into the the sand dunes in a way. I feel like that's kind of the center of everything. You guys have followed Sand Hollow at all. You've seen this pile of rocks here. And you've seen that sign right there before. We won't stop here for long. But really, I mean, it's a gorgeous view from here, for sure. We'll try and capture some of that on this camera right here. Here is the sand dune. And as far as sand dunes go, there's not a lot of it. But there's a lot of other stuff out here to do. So let's go down to the bottom. Are you going down the wall? Uh, we could. Why not? We'll go check it out at least. But if you get up here, there's a bathroom out in front of us. About two or three hundred yards away, so one of the off-road clubs or something I've put that out here, I don't know, two, three, four, five years ago. I'm not sure how long ago that was, but it's really nice. I don't mind uh, peeing in the bushes, but sometimes the women folk don't like it a whole lot. So it's just a uh, like a composting toilet. They got a container full of sawdust that you're supposed to put in there after you do your business. Might have to stop and check out where the sand is today. Yeah. So this is what uh, I guess as locals call a wall. It's basically the biggest hill out here. Um, I can't climb it this, I promise you that. But I can go down it. I've been down it in the Defender a few times. Josh's mom has walked down it a lot of times. I There's, don't think she's ever ridden in anything down it. She no, refuses. She refuses to take a ride. You can get down it in just a few leaps. <laughs> yeah. It's steep enough. You can run down it or you can somersault down it. Pretty steep hill. My first encounter with this hill was in the back of somebody's truck going down it a long time ago, back in high school. That was a fun little ride. Thought it was pretty amazing at the time. Oh, what's this? Someone's E? <laughs> somebody's uh, down it. <laughs> yeah, somebody's. That's kind of funny. You never know what you're going to find out here at the dunes. We go out to the Flintstone house or somewhere out there? Yeah, we go to the Flintstone house. Kind of one of those places that if you've ever been to the Flintstone house, you should probably at least go check it out once. Kids it, love it. Yeah, the kids love going. It's just kind of one of those classic, iconic, sand hollow things to go look at.
All right, here is the Flintstone house. As you can see, it's just a kind of a cool rock formation. It's literally like a cave with lots of arches in it. That's basically all it is. The kids love squeezing in here. I can still do it. Hey Willow, hi. <laughs> but it's always a main attraction when people come out here. They're always checking it out. So, right up there is that bathroom. Up top, most top of the peak is the top of the world. We came down right there and then just headed this way to get to the Flintstone house. One of the coolest things about Sand Hollow and the rocks is just all the different rock formations. I mean, it's just, I don't know what you call it, but it's cool. Big old pack rat nest up in there. Go find the rat, Willow. It'd probably beat you up. A little crack in the rock there. Look at this. This is so cool. It's unreal. It's literally like we're on Mars. Rock formations are so cool. Thank you.